Hello, my name is Jonathan Talbert. I'm with Ericsson and I'm showing you Ericsson's Mint Analytics. So basically with Ericsson's Mint Analytics, it's really a way for operators to have a storefront to really discover what's going on with their customers and plan for the future. So one thing is is understanding what's going what are your customers doing, right? So a little bit about subscriber profiling. So we have high high ARPU iPhone users. You want to know what they're up to? It's right here. So based on information coming from the mobile operators network, we're able to determine video is uh, seems to be very popular with high uh, high ARPU uh, iPhone users. But if you're wondering, well, what's where's video traffic go as a whole in your network? then you have a simple way of kind of visualizing it right here. Also, if you think about profiling your users, so based on the amount of data that users use, so you've, over here you've got the top 99% or, or that 1%, the top 1% of people on your network that are burning through more than 3.8 gigs of data per month on their mobile phones. Well, you start to see a new trend here. They start to do a lot more file sharing. So there's actually a little bit lower percentage of video on those users than there are in the top 2.5% over here. Um, also understanding what's happening in your network, even going down to app coverage. So understanding to the cell site what type of activities your users are using. What apps are they doing? Are they doing videos? Are they doing um, voice, data? So we can actually look at LTE subscribers that are attached to an LTE network and pull up information about what they're up to right here. So we see that primarily LTE subscribers on this cell site use video. Second would be online audio. And of course we can go through and pick other cell sites. We can also determine network issues. So let's look at what happens when you have users out there. And we want to determine, all right, where are there a lot of LTE users, L, you know, users that have an LTE device, but they happen to end up on a wideband CDMA uh, network? So we can determine areas and cell sites based on what type of devices they're actually uh, using and whether they're on the wrong type of network. Now this could be indicative of some sort of an issue, whether A, you don't have LTE coverage in this area, and maybe in areas where you see a very high bar that you should probably think about adding LTE coverage, or it could be APN issues, device issues, and, or any other types of problems. And some of the data coming from this, you can help to identify some of those issues. Um, and of course, you can move into things like strategic planning, really trying to understand exactly what's, you know, what's my way forward with different pricing plans and all sorts of different uh, features that you can look at. So you can look at growth strategy, service benchmarks. So you can get a lot of more information about what's going on. We also have an enterprise scenario. So of course, we can look at, well, what's happening in the stadium? You know, So you're offering Wi-Fi, especially in, for live events and other venues. So now these, you and the venue owners can start to understand what's the traffic patterns within your venue. Of course, here we have uh, a stadium and maybe the 100 suites. Those are those premium suites. These are, these are where you need to give the best fan experience because these are the users that are spending huge amounts of money to attend every game, concerts, everything. So now you can kind of get a better understanding of exactly what's going on with those users. So here's uh, data from a, uh, a concert at the stadium. Of course, earlier in the day, you see that there's not, much, not too many attached users on this one node. But later, when the concert starts to pick in, people start to file in, you start to see the data uptick and you see the number of uh, unique users starts to increase to the point where you know, everybody during the concert is starting to pump out a lot of data. They're starting to browse and surf and do a lot of things out on the mobile network. And then, of course, there's, uh, there's also understanding what's happening during an event. So. If we pick, uh, wait till the map comes up here. So we could pick a NBA stadium. We'll choose maybe the Detroit Pistons they play at the Palace Arena. Katy Perry concert. You're wondering what type of traffic there was during that. Over here you see the most used websites and over here you see the least uh, used websites and what was accessed. Of course it's a concert so you kind of see that iTunes, Amazon, things like that where you can actually purchase music were very popular. 
Um, Google and Facebook, people are checking in, so they're uh, wanting to announce it to their friends, hey, I'm here at the concert. So there's a lot that can be done, and then of course utilizing that information to really look at how do you, uh, how do you move forward.